50s dudes, and they use a guy named Torquemada. That all happened between uh, the, 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 the 1450s all the way up into uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, the 1500s, okay? And when Christopher Columbus went to the so-called New World, what, what was the first thing that they did? They, they said that the uh, natives, that the savages, had to accept Jesus. So that was the first deception. That was the, the beginning of their deception. Then later, about a hundred some odd years later, they went over to Africa, the western part of Africa, and brought our people over there, over over there to America. And what did they do? The slave master, they taught you about, they gave you their brand of uh, Christianity. The picture of Caesar. With the picture of Caesar, that same picture, man. The Jehovah Witness have that same picture. That's right, man. The Baptists have that same picture. The Catholics have that same picture. Yep. It's all a Roman Catholic version of that Jesus, man. To show you that all those churches are one and the same, man. That's right. Go ahead. That he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. That little season is about 500 years. You want to put a date on it? 1492, when the Columbus came over here, up until this present day. So that's about 500 years. Yeah. Where they took down the tribes, the, the so-called, uh, of the 10 tribes, and um, they, 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 they brought against their, 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 their will the, the three tribes, which was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So we were all oppressed together. That's in Jeremiah, man. It said the children of Israel were oppressed together. So we know that's not talking about ancient Babylon. Go ahead, Ock. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw... Them is the children of Israel. But there's a certain order. The Most High always has order. In the kingdom of heaven, you will have the 12 thrones. Then you will have the 144,000. Then you're going to have the one-third. Then you're going to have the rest of Israel. Then you're going to have the other nations. That's called rank and file, man. Go ahead. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw... We're going to get judgment in the kingdom. Who are we going to judge? The other nations. The saints shall judge. Yeah, the Bible says the saints shall judge. judge uh, so how in the hell are you going to get a white man in the kingdom of heaven? Or an African man? Or an Egyptian? Or a Moabite? Or an Ammonite? Go ahead. Uh, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Heavenly Father. That was talking about what? The disciples, the apostles. Yep. Did it happen back then? Yes, their heads, their heads were chopped off. They were, they were slain. Go ahead. Uh, and, and, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Heavenly Father and which had the not, Bible, the Bible, go ahead. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither has received his mark. Now, during the time of the Roman Empire, was the Romans instituting marks on people? And that word mark, if you go to the Greek, the word there is karagma. Go ahead. Neither his image, neither. Y'all got my other books, the other two books. Can't speak the uh, neither had received this mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And like the apostle said, the mark comes from the Greek word karagma, which means a thing inserted. So what is that? That's that chip. Right? That's that chip. Which uh, the word uh, karagma goes back to the root word karax, which means a, a little pale. Now another word for pale is stick. So it's like a little tiny stick. Like a pale is something you put in the earth to mark a boundary, a boundary. When you look up the word pale. So this is a tiny pale. The word karax means a tiny pale. So that tiny pale is a, a tiny little stick that's put in the skin. Now just like you have pails to uh, mark a boundary, that pale that's being pushed in your skin is marking 
the boundary of the Israelites as being property of the elites. That's the elites' way of saying, you're my property now. Just like Pharaoh of old, he didn't want to let the children of Israel go. He said, no, they're, they're, I don't know any God. I don't know your God, Moses, and neither will I let your people go. In other words, they're my people. So the bankers, that's, they're the modern-day Pharaoh. That's how they look at the children of Israel, the Israelites. They look at them as their people, which they can put chips in them. They can destroy them. They can do whatever they want with them because they look at them as their slaves. Now, and that's talking about us. Right. Now, this book right here, this is called uh, The World's Last Dictator. And when we first came on YouTube, we went through all these books. So we're going back over them again, all right? The World's Last Dictator, uh, by uh, written by Dwight L. Kinman, right? Now, this was first uh, uh, published in uh, 1993. It was... Uh, there was a reprint, updated version in 1995. Then the final, the one that I got was in 1999. I got this in 1999. Uh, copyright, uh, copyright, 93, 95, and 99. So this was way back in uh, 1999. Now I knew about the Mark of the Beast before, because they said you 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 listening to Alex Jones. Alex Jones didn't come on the scene until 1996. Yeah, he didn't invent the term, the mark of the beast. Alex Jones didn't invent that term, right? And the main mark of the beast, which the word mark means sign, when you look it up, the main mark of the beast or his sign is that chip. That's the main thing that he's going to push for you Israelites to accept. And if you don't accept it, that's at the penalty of death. That's why you have your concentration camps, that's why you have your guillotines and the different torture instruments for those that don't accept that mark, which is the chip. And that's why in the scriptures it says, because of all, both small and great, rich and poor to receive that mark. So the day is coming when Esau is going to cause everyone to receive that mark. But of course the elites or the elect of Israel, they're not going to receive that mark. They're not going to take that mark. And some of us are going to be put to death for not uh, taking that mark. And some of us, the Lord is going to deliver us out of that uh, uh, that uh, turmoil, out of that um, out of that tribulation. And that's where faith comes in. But these other other groups, you notice, they're not talking like that. Because number one, they don't believe America is going to be destroyed. I can find it. I can find it. And number two, number two, they're not dealing with reality. All right. You got a precept? Yeah, I was gonna get Micah. Bring it out. Uh, this is uh, Micah chapter two, verse ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. That's right. And that's why 